Good day everyone, welcome to Simply Jubilee. Today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about catnip. So in upstate New York, we have this growing all over the place. Um, it just kind of pops up. It's one of the first plants in the spring to really show itself. And you'll know it's catnip because like all mint, uh, you can't really tell so well on this one, uh, it has a nice square stem. So it has four sides. And if you rub it or even touch it like I've been doing, your finger is going to smell nice and minty because, of course, this is a member of the mint family. So I feel very fortunate to have this popping up all over my property. And <laughs> I do weed some of it out uh, because the plants, these are the remnants from last year. They get quite large, especially when they flower and go to seed. Uh, but my cats love them. So I'm able to come out here and just pick this fresh for them. They go nuts. And then usually around the fall time, I've left a quite a few of these just to get larger and kind of grow and get as big as they can get. I'll pick a bunch of the leaves and I will put them in my dehydrator. And then my cats have access to this all year round. So I know you can buy seeds for this, but chances are pretty good if you're in a climate similar to mine. So I'm in a zone B. You probably have something similar to this growing wild in your area. Um, again, you want to look for the four-sided stem. It's a characteristic of all mint. And if you just touch it, break off a leaf or rub your fingers on it, it's going to smell really nice and minty. So it's a nice smelling additive to your garden, helps keep away mosquitoes. And of course, your cats are going to go nuts for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good one. 